All right, no, we're not. They're, they've got a loading dock. All right, good morning. We're at the place. Let me set you guys up real fast. Um, we're supposed to be getting two telehandlers. Uh, it's changed to only one. I guess one of them's going to stay local. Uh, and they have a loading dock, so I'm going to set you guys up. We're going to back up to this dock here. of a tight back in and pull out but technically we thought we were gonna have to use our ramps so I'd rather have to deal with that than I would have to pull the ramps out huh yeah I tried to move those little ramps that they have for step decks to back up to <laughs> yeah that's not happening they had, to, they had to set them up with forklifts so it looks like we got three hours to get to um, Bellevue, Florida. Drop this off. Looks like we'll be there at 11.45. And then uh, probably not even gonna look for anything coming out of Florida. Probably just gonna uh, set the boards for tomorrow. Start looking for tomorrow. I doubt there'll be anything out of Florida. Probably not. Not that pay's good. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see ya.
keep in touch with you, so I, I think I've at least lived up to my word. So. Great. You've been awesome, Brad. I appreciate it. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Have, have a good day, and if I don't speak to you again uh, before the holidays, uh, enjoy your, your holidays and, and uh, time that you have. All right. Thank you. You too, Brad. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Bye. Well, that's it. We got right in, backed up to the dock, and got unloaded in what five minutes? That's fast. I'll do uh, one quick look on the load boards before we head back home. But on the way up, I wasn't seeing anything. I'm not even seeing anything for like tomorrow. Um, let's see, we're in Bellevue, Florida. Today is Wednesday. I just don't, I don't mess with those little loads, man. Everything is like a dollar sixty going to like Arkansas from here. Texas, a dollar eighty. Anytime you'll make money is if you go further south. Like here's one going to uh, St. Simon's Island. It's probably overdimensional. Oh, nursery trees. Ugh. It's so bad. There's so many people going under right now. Here's uh, one going to Columbus, Ohio for $1.90. Oh, that's that. Uh, get this. So I tried calling on this to see if this guy was uh, on drugs or something. But he has it listed for 22,000 pounds. I'm going to screenshot this too and include this in the video so you guys know I'm not lying. 14 feet high and six feet wide. And then the front half of this load is 20,000 pounds and it's 18 feet long, 12 feet high and 13 feet wide. 13 foot wide for $1.90. I mean, you have the 13 foot wide plus the 14 foot high Plus, he has it listed for 22,000 pounds when it's, when it's actually 40,000 pounds in the notes. I've never, we've never pulled for these guys before, right? What's the name? Swick Logistics. Never heard of them. Yeah. Get bent. Overdimensional load going to Las Vegas from Lakeland, Florida. 10-3 wide, 8-foot tarps. There just isn't anything, man. There just isn't anything. You can go to Texas for 90 cents a mile. You can go to Miami. You can go further down into Florida, pick it up in Tampa, and go to Miami. 44,300 pounds for $2.16 a mile. A total of $600. Man, I hope, the, I hope the ones that are taking this, I hope you guys hurry up and go out of business. Stop ruining it for the rest of us. And let's be honest with you, probably majority of the cheap loads being taken are the illegals. Or the foreigners, I should say. I've been seeing a lot of TikToks of them just like screwing everything up. All right, well, we'll let this truck move out of the way and uh, we'll, we'll go to the house. It was a nice little, uh, nice little load there, huh, baby? Yeah. If we could find more of those. I told her, I was like, if you have anything else like this, keep us in mind. Yeah. Faux show. Sure. All right, guys. See you in Georgia.
All right, good morning. It is, uh, it's Friday, I found us a load. We are gonna be picking up in Americus, Georgia. Uh, one pick, three drops. We gotta pick up some uh, mobile home doors that need to be tarped. Pick up in Americus, we got two drops in Tennessee and one in Kentucky. I think it's like five bucks a mile. <clears throat> I couldn't pass it up. Gets us out away from the house. Um, today is, it's almost Christmas. It's December 15th. I need to stop telling you guys the date because you guys complain about the video being old and out of date. But I think I'm getting caught up. I just edited uh, one of our last videos where I just put the uh, the oil bypass on. And I don't have much footage after that because that was around Christmas time. And really, we've only done two loads after that. Um, so today's Friday. We'll pick it up Friday and we've got uh, a drop first thing in the morning, and then we have an appointment for the second stop at 10 o'clock in Tennessee, and then we'll shoot over to Kentucky. We'll bounce around next week and uh, hopefully make some money, then we'll come home for Christmas. And hopefully the uh, new, year will, new year will bring us uh, lots of good paying loads. Man, we were all, I was on the board, I mean you guys know, we've only ran two loads since Thanksgiving. Could I have run more? Probably, I just don't like taking the hit, man. I, I don't like taking the hit. So, anyways, truck's all washed up and cleaned up. I got almost everything I wanted to get done, uh, with exception of, uh, I forgot to do the APU belt. So we might do that this weekend, wherever we stop. I don't know if I ever showed you guys, we got our truck number on here. Yeah. Doggies are loaded up. I just got to do my pre-trip and uh, we'll be good to go. They wanted us there at about 12 o'clock today. Right now it's almost 10, 9.52. So let me knock out this pre-trip and um, we'll see you guys on the road. All right, we have arrived. Those aren't, those aren't doors. This is wood, right? Yeah, it's just like planking. I was told that we were getting mobile home doors. Well, it's going to mobile home places. They maybe they make the doors at the mobile home places. Um, no, this I think this is like flooring. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it's flooring. Let me see what this thing says. Stop by Walmart on the way here. Got some dog food and stuff. Must fully tarp and take pictures. Guess it doesn't really say what it is on this. Mm -mm. But I thought that was mobile home doors. Oh, so maybe they meant to put floors and they put doors. Oh, maybe you're right. Because they don't know how to fill out. Ah, oh, so. I bet you're right. So we finally got Tamarax to cut us a check. Hopefully, they said they cut us a check. When was that? Yesterday. yesterday? So they cut us a check yesterday, and they're finally gonna. It has been an absolute nightmare. They were going back and forth. First, they're like, yep, pull the injectors out, send us injectors. Good to go. We'll send you the cores with your uh, refund. I mean, that was months ago. Yep. Months ago. I mean, I, I had to call them up. I'm like, hey guys, where's my cores? Where's my refund? Oh, 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 let me, uh, I'll get you some cores out. Didn't hear anything from them. Hit them up again, hey, where's my cores? Oh, I'm gonna get you the cores. So we got the cores and I'm like, okay, well now where's my refund? Oh, we're gonna get you that refund. And then I called them a couple weeks ago. Oh, we showed that we've cut you a refund. I'm like, you guys didn't send me a refund. Oh, well, let me let me have my finance department check on it. Call back a couple days later. Oh, well, she was at a funeral. Okay, well, what's the deal now? Let me check into it. Oh, well, this person caught COVID. It's like, okay, come on now. It, it's enough is enough and um, then they're like oh we have to go back and we have to check through all the UPS because we've gone through so many injectors sending back and forth it's like we need to check with the UPS and make sure that we've received all the injectors I'm like now's not the time to figure out if I have actually sent the injectors back it's like yeah the person's dropped the ball on this and um, they haven't really been notating your account very good and I'm like well why should I have to suffer for that? Like I have a truck broke down in my driveway right now. I even told him, I'm like, 
Maybe you guys should go buy a semi truck and sit it in your driveway and see how much it costs you. I mean, technically it's not costing us anything, but that's, that's not on them. That's, they don't have to know that. What a, what a nightmare. And then we get a bill from Penske the other day. 200 and like 20 something dollars. And it's, what it is, what was the explanation? Mileage. Fuel mileage. It said that they cut it, they cut the bill on the 30th and the bill was due by December. They, they cut the bill November 30 and the bill was due December 10th. And we got the bill in the mail like, December 12th. So I call them up. That was a complete nightmare of bouncing me around. And their explanation was that was for IFTA miles. I'm like, IFTA miles? I'm like, we do our own IFTA. And how do you guys know where I filled up or where I, where I drove through? Like, oh, well, that's just an estimation. So you're just like randomly billing people. And I told him this. I'm like, you're just randomly billing people for miles and you don't know where they drove. You don't know where they filled up. Like, how are you randomly charging people for IFTA? I'm like, I'm not some homeowner that's rented a semi truck. Like, I own a, I own a business. I know how IFTA works. Well, after going back and forth, they're like, oh yeah, yeah. So the guy that checked you in and out when you rented the truck, made a mistake he doesn't work here anymore it wasn't a guy that checked me in and out by the way it was a it was a female but they tried to blame it on some guy that doesn't work there anymore they're like don't worry about it yeah you guys are just randomly sending out bills hoping these companies just randomly open up bills and they just write checks out and they send money off and nobody asks anything that's not how this works so we finally got that resolved but besides that, what else has been going on, woman? People can't see your pretty face. That's okay. The heck was that? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm just glad we're going to get a couple of loads in before Christmas. Oh, we, we bought T-Mobile. We didn't switch our phones yet, but we got T-Mobile home internet. And at the house where it's not supposed to work... Man, we were getting like 200 megabyte download speeds. Let's see what we're getting right here, where we're sitting in America's Georgia. Uh, speed test. I'm hoping I can shut my Starlink off. To be completely honest with you, my Starlink, Starlink went from like $80 a month, and now it's costing us $150 a month. Expensive. And it like, it doesn't work like it used to. So sitting here in America's Georgia at this place, I'm getting, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up on that. It's showing 200 megabyte download. And looks like about 20 upload. 22, 23, 24, 30. I'll do a Starlink. I got my Starlink plugged in too. We'll uh, connect to Starlink and compare them. So 200 down, 30 up. Let me connect to my Starlink. Uh, and this this T-Mobile is uh, fifty dollars a month. I don't know if I said that or not. And they guarantee your bill doesn't go up. Let's see. Am I connected to Starlink now? Yep, SpaceX Starlink. Let's see what we get here. Eighty, ninety, a hundred, one twenty, one thirty, one forty. I mean, that's still not bad. What's the 120. latency, though? Latency, the ping is 44. Yeah. Upload is 6, 7, about, it's bouncing back and forth from 5, 6, and 7. So 124 down, 6 or 7 up, which isn't terrible either. But it's never like this when I need to actually use the internet. So I'm hoping this uh, T-Mobile will replace this and I can... Shut the Starlink off and save us $100 a butt. <sighs> Maybe I can sell the Starlink and all the all the fancy attachments and stuff that I have. I mean, I'm hoping Starlink... Supposedly, T-Mobile and Starlink 
have like partnered together and T-Mobile phones in a couple of years are actually going to use Starlink satellite. So it'll be like a satellite phone, which will be fantastic. Who knows? I think I'm almost caught up on my videos. Last video I added it last night was uh, we finally get home for Thanksgiving and I put the uh, oil separator on. Yeah. Oil bypass. What do you guys do? Don't have much footage after that. I mean, we've done two loads since Thanksgiving and we took our truck to Hey Guy. Yeah. They seem really nice up there. Yeah. Talked to the mom for a good bit about the dogs and they got some birds up there. Parrots. Parrots. There's a female parrot when you walk in in a big cage on the left. Did not like me. It's all puffed up and angry. They got a big old snake in there. They got a bunch of stuff in there. They got some animals in there. Yeah. Pretty funny. A lot smaller place than I imagined in my head. Yeah. I thought it would be a bigger place, but it's like right off the road. All right, well, we got to wait on this guy right here to get loaded. And then we got to back into that spot. And uh, they're going to load us there. So I imagine he has to tarp that. Yeah, the broker says tarp and take a picture of it. I'm tarp. saying before he pulls out. Yeah, I know. He'll probably have to tarp that before he he pulls up and then we'll back into the spot and oh that's another thing like they told us 12 o'clock around noon today and then we're driving here we're like 30 minutes away and then what the broker sent another raycon that says three three yeah. and we're like wait a second you told us 12. she sent a raycon that said three and then she emailed um she responded to my my email would you email like oh i thought you said 12. um Actually, I guess she sent the Raycon and then she sent an email that said, oh, by the way, it's three. And I was like, wait a minute, you said 12. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, wait, yeah, 12. She's like, yeah, that's right, it is 12. <laughs> but we're going on, it's one o'clock now. We stopped by Walmart. Well, I mean, she said, she said she was going to call him and see if we could come early, but then she was like, oh, it's, it's actually 12 o'clock, you're mm -hmm. right. I don't know. I'm just glad we found a load. Man, I was looking for loads every single day. I just can't, I just can't take that hit. Like, especially when I'm sitting at home and I can sleep in my own bed, I cannot take a hit to leave the house. It just doesn't make any sense. If more people would just put their foot down, we could fix this industry. But there's just too many people that think that they have to drive. They have to be driving all the time to make money even if it's at a dollar fifty a mile or whatever they're running at technically if I would have took a load for a dollar fifty a mile to leave the house and this is paying I think this is paying five bucks a mile four fifty two a mile it's like I worked all week long just to take this one load. At least three days worth. <clears throat> three days worth of work just to sit at home and take one load. Now granted, you're not gonna find these. These are unicorn loads. And I've, I got lucky and found a couple of little short little runs while we were at home. Yeah. Technically that one going down to Florida I mean, it was five dollars a mile, but we drove down and drove back, so it's like two fifty a mile. That one to Brunswick, that was five bucks a mile too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was two fifty down. Actually, the one in Tifton paid more than that, I think. I don't remember. <sighs> I didn't sleep very good. My sleep schedule's completely screwed up. I was so lazy while at home. Hard to get motivated to edit. It's just, we didn't do the belt on the APU. Whoops. Yeah. People are saying they think it's the compressor, 
But I think even if I turn this on and don't have it on air conditioning, like even if I set it to heat, or if I just set it to fan, just so that the APU is running so it'll keep the batteries charged, I think it still squeals. I don't, I don't know if it's a compressor or not. Do we need to turn that on? We can. Turn it on, don't put it on AC. When it starts up, we'll see if it squeals. Just put it on fan. Hmm. Yeah, because we got a lot of electronics and stuff in here. And this um, inverter doesn't have like a shut off. It doesn't shut off when it, when it gets to low voltage. It just keeps draining your batteries. I mean, I came in here the other morning and it was like beeping, but like at that point, the batteries were too low to even start the truck. Yeah. R&L coming through. Man, I keep seeing Mac trucks everywhere. We got a Mac behind us. Oh yeah. Look, it's a red Mac. Huh. That's all we see on the road anymore is Max. Yeah. starting to make me mad every time it does an update it resets it back to factory settings so I keep thinking I forget to push this power button when I do my time-lapse but the factory settings is the time-lapse is only like three minutes or something stupid like save my settings DJI save the settings that I had before you did your update I don't know what this camera got now. Oh, that's so frustrating. That's a harness nest. Well, good morning. We uh, we stopped in Atlanta again last night. Did we save dog? No, that's fine. I got her. Uh, I just got super tired, and I was afraid if I pushed it any more, we wouldn't have anywhere to park because we end up getting out of that uh, place. I don't know. I don't know what time we got out of there. We definitely loaded a lot later than I was hoping for can't get my hood on so we're here plus there isn't so our first drop is in Lafayette Tennessee and there's no parking in Lafayette Tennessee so I was like why not so we stopped here and got some food to pay for our parking and uh, it's now like 12 o'clock I slept so good last night I did not want to wake up didn't have an alarm set so this is where we are now <laughs> So we're gonna walk, we're probably gonna walk these dogs. What do you think? You think we should get a shower here or just move on and get a shower wherever we stop? Might not have a spot if we wait much longer. We we slept so late, Lita's afraid if we like kind of drag our feet, take a shower, we won't have a spot again tonight. Cause that's what I was afraid of last night. Like I knew we would have parking here because there's so many parking spots, but if we would have pushed it into we're just, we're gonna go to Lebanon. We're gonna stay in Lebanon because there's no parking in Lafayette. So, if we would have pushed it into there last night, we wouldn't have had parking. Yeah. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk these dogs. Is this thing dirty? Looks like a dog's been licking this thing. I just don't know how big those truck stops are. I only, I know there's a couple, but. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to walk these dogs. I think we're going to uh, knock out some pre-tripping. 
I smell some breakfast over there. You yeah. think we should get breakfast from that? That smells amazing, we bro. We get a breakfast sandwich. It smelled good last night when they had food. Yeah. Like I think they just, I think they just make the same thing that the iron skillet has. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hmm. The reviews always say that the food in there wasn't any good, but man, that this morning it smells on point. This place kind of sucks for dogs. There isn't any grass to walk them in. It's all concrete. All right, we'll see you later.